Next news. The next news is from United Kingdom. Probably not good if it's from United Kingdom. Usually when we have Aces Republic has news from United Kingdom, it's usually not a good story. So the title says, Muslim students less likely to be awarded top class degrees. So the summary says, students from Muslim families are less likely to be awarded top class degrees than students from other religions or beliefs, according to research examining UK's higher education attainment for people of different faith backgrounds. The research based on official statistics gathered from more than 2 million students attending British universities found that just 65% of students identifying as Muslim gained first, first and upper second class degrees as undergraduates compared with more than 76% of all other students. The attainment gap was particularly wide among those gaining first class honors. Uh, only 18% of Muslims were awarded the top classifications, a lower, a lower proportion than in all other religious groups. And then, they, the near, and then the nearly 30% of students with no religions who gain firsts. Oh. Sikh and Hindu students were also less likely to be awarded for first class degrees. So what's the point of this? This is are people are going to be like discrimination, discrimination, or like I'm hoping people are like mm, Muslim students are less likely to be awarded top class. Like does does the study claim that this is discrimination, or does the study adjust for bad lower performance? Like this could totally be because of lower performance. Like. I didn't see anything in the summary suggest that this is because of discrimination. Okay, but I, uh, but I but I assume a lot of people just reading this might be like assuming discrimination instead of actually assuming that it also might be that they just don't perform as well. But what do you what do you? Yeah. So the higher education academy, like the agency in UK, they stated that reasons for like these differences in degree could be like really complex and there could be various reasons which could not be disentangled from one another because there are various characteristics in different religions which could lead to this right okay but they are they're also suggesting that it could be because could be. the staff and other students are treating them differently yeah, it could be. Uh, it could be, but yeah. I hope people don't just decide what they think it is based yeah. on just reading the study. I mean, I mean it, it could. Like, it could uh, hmm. Yeah, go ahead. No, I, I'm just saying it, this study seems to be unbiased and honest. Like it's not just like one of those ones that are like <gasps> shouting bigotry when even if they can't find sources of bigotry. Like this science, this article is like coming up with the actual data. I don't know if this is a good, by the way, just because you see a study, don't always assume it's a good study, okay? And I'm not saying this is a good study or a bad study, I don't know, okay? But this could be an honest study that is just showing that here are the numbers and we're not claiming why, it could be multiple different reasons, right? So the study might be fair, unbiased, a good study, uh, but a lot of people reading this from both sides, okay? I'm gonna criticize my, my the anti-Islam, anti, you know, um, anti-woke side as well, okay? So the the woke side is gonna be like, discrimination, bigotry, obviously these people are being unfairly treated, like blah, 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 and they don't know if that's the reason, uh, and they're just gonna say it is, right? But, but, just to throw some stones on, on, on our side as well, a lot of people on our side are going to say like, this is definitely not bigotry. This must be because they're not performing better, right? And what the right answer is, if you act, the right answer is based on what me and you and most of the people in our audience know right now, the right answer, surprise, surprise is what? We don't know. We don't know what the right answer is, okay? That's just so uncomfortable for people to say, okay? Just try it, repeat after me, okay? It's really easy, repeat after me. Okay, what is the reason why they're not performing well? It's, it's not, come on, you could do it. It's not that hard, just try. I don't know. See, see the sky is not falling. Do it, try it again. I don't 
No! Ah, see? No, nothing was reduced from you. You don't know. You don't know. It's okay. It doesn't matter what side you're on. This, you don't know. You haven't done the research. Even these, even these people seem to have, don't know. So if they don't know, how could you know, right? Okay? It's easy. It's easy to say, I don't know. And no one is going to think less of you and if, because you said, I don't know. And if they did think less of you because you said, they, you said that you don't know, then fuck them. All right? They don't, they don't matter. Um, all right. Let me read the top comment. VJ is saying they are focused in bombing lessons. They are focused on bombing lessons. Okay, again, I am okay with jokes as long as you understand that this is a joke. Like, I always have to clarify this. People say, like, yeah, yeah, I remember, no. But I just want to say, like, a lot of people sometimes think that this is discrimination. Like, why are you thinking, oh, you're saying all Muslims are terrorists? It's a fucking joke, okay? It's a joke. If it's a joke, if people don't actually believe that, you should be okay with that, okay? If people say making fun of Muslims being terrorists, even though we know like most Muslims are very good people, peaceful people, it's a joke, jokes are okay, okay? But as long as we're clear that this is a joke and we don't actually think that. Uh, second top comment is saying, because they write Quran and science which far, which far away from reality. I don't think that's good English, but I get what you're meaning. This doesn't seem like a joke. This seems like somebody actually believes that. Let me tell you that um, just because you're a Muslim, that doesn't mean you can't be good in science. Um, a lot of Muslims are very good in science. A lot of Muslims do, don't have any clue what the Quran says, even though they say they're Muslim, they've never read the Quran, and they might be very good in science and not very good at Islam. Okay? So, the second one doesn't seem like a joke. This guy seems like um, he actually thinks that because you're a Muslim and because Quran is unscientific, then if you're a Muslim, you can't do science. Okay? So, that's obviously stupid. Um, did, Shopan, did you want to say add anything? Yeah, I, I thought this was interesting. Like, the article says, like, uh, the researchers noted that the performance of Muslim students was inversely related to the proportion of Muslim staff at an institution. Mm -hmm. I mean, do they mean to say, like, the more the Muslim staff, the less number of Muslim students get higher grades? I mean, hi uh, higher what? performance? Is this, is, are they saying that? I mean, it, it suggests they're saying that, but I don't know. I'm not sure. If you, if somebody knows more about the study or has access to more research and knows a little bit more about this and the reasoning behind this, comment once the live stream is over, uh, put your mention that in the co in the comment section. Uh, by the way, just because you don't know something, that doesn't mean that you can't guess. As long I mean, as I I guess it is like they're saying. Uh, I mean, from what I understand, how it's uh, written here, I think they're saying like the more it is inversely related to the proportion of Muslim staff. So the more the Muslim staff, the less uh, good, uh, the less performance from Muslim students, and the Muslim students perform better with l low Muslim staff. Hmm. And also because they're always, saying inversely proportional. So. Yeah, yeah. But also always remember that correlation is not causation, right? So just be careful. Yeah. But I just want to say that if you don't know things, that mean, that doesn't mean that you can't hypothesize. Like you, you can come up with guesses and you know come up with hypotheses as long as you make it clear that your this is a guess and your guess is not based on any evidence and your guess is based on no, no extra knowledge that you have that is available to the public or like that to the common like. As long as you understand that you clarify when you're making a guess that your guess is not a theory, is a hypothesis, sometimes it's not even that, uh, and that is so you're so loosely holding on to this guess that you're just willing to let go of it with the smallest amount of contradictory information, right? So it's okay to guess, it's fun to guess. Uh, and guessing usually comes up with ideas on what data we need to look for. So uh, I'm not against people guessing with no evidence. Guessing usually allows us to come up with what evidence we need to go look for, okay? Guessing is okay as long as you clarify it and as long as you will make it very clear that people should take it with a grain of salt, a lot, with a lot of salt, okay? and that you are also willing to just let it go very fast, okay? 
Um, let me news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah. Subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> But we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us Deprioritize what does that mean? That means we're not we don't show up on the suggested You know videos on the right and all that, you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 